Guess what? Another tier list, and this time it is for Call of Dragons. Let's go! Not just in Call of Dragons, but every single city building war game, when you invest on commanders or heroes, whatever they're called, you want to invest only the best ones. Because it's always really hard to collect those sculptures to upgrade your heroes, even if it's epics at the start of the game. So today we are going to rank every single epic and legendary hero in Call of Dragons, starting with the E tier. This is obviously the lowest tier and the only two heroes I will put here is going to be the Gathering ones, it's going to be Pan and also in this. Decent heroes, but just for Gathering. Yes, people did try including Pan and in this in infantry marches because they are a little bit more tanky compared to other ones in early game maybe you can get away with it but no unfortunately these two are just for gathering and you should never as i said ever invest your universal tokens on these heroes now tier d let me start with the epic ones first because there will be a lot of them based on my experience i will put alistair into d tier like he is just just mediocre i don't think he offers anything special and Atheus is decent, right? If you're using flying units, he's decent. However, when it comes to PvP, if you are using epics, you surely want to use the absolute best ones. Spoiler alert, just like Voldir. So I cannot justify putting Atheus into even C tier. Yeah, maybe he might go into C tier, but it doesn't matter. C and D, not that different. So Atheus, unfortunately, goes into D tier. Bakar, you can have him at D, you can downgrade him to E, doesn't matter, again, just like Atheus, not that great, definitely don't invest your tokens into Bakar. Eliana is decent, she's good at very early behemoth raids if you are trying to be, you know, the tank of your alliance, other than that, however, I don't think she is that great, but she has her benefits, so if you put these into an order, I will probably put Eliana, like most likely put Eliana at the first spot between these epics. <laughs> this is going to upset some people, but I think Garwood can be a C tier, but let's, let's make it controversial and put him into D tier. The reason is, he's just very similar to Richard from Rise of Kingdoms. He's very tanky, he does offer sustainability, but that's it, right? He is like a quote-unquote punching bag. Yeah, he does soak up some amount of damage, but you don't deal pretty much any damage back. So I think Garwood goes into D tier, especially when it comes to PvP, because in, in Behemoth fights, yes, Garwood is a really good tank, but in PvP, he doesn't offer you that extra damage, that counterattack damage, the thing that makes people stops hitting you. Sadly, Garwood doesn't offer that, so he goes into <laughs> the tier. The first hero I'm going to put to C tier is going to be Gwen Wynn, the starting hero for Spring Wardens. I think she's really good, surely better than all the epics that we discussed so far. She also offers versatility, she's really good in PvE, especially against first behemoths, and she's also really, really decent in PvP. And since she is the starting commander of Spring Wardens, it is going to take a lot less effort and time for you to max your Gwen win and that's why I don't think she belongs into D tier I think she goes into C tier Olven is going to be my next C tier he also really goes well with Voldir so you can certainly as your starting pair as your early game pair you can use for mages of course you can use Voldir primary Olven secondary I think it's going to be a really really decent PvP march and the beauty is since you are going to get tokens for Voldir for free just from completing quests and all that because he is the starting commander for mages you can invest your universal tokens epic universal tokens into olvin and you could have a really decent epic mage pairing oh man another controversy i'll have to put both cavalry into c tier now the reason is not because they are bad heroes necessarily however in big brawls in murder balls you know lots of marches in the field cavalry actually doesn't have a very good role mages and archers wrecks others from a distance tanks are going to soak up a lot of damage and they will also deal ton of damage ton of counterattack damage to attackers but cavalry is like have you ever played hitman i'm sure you did right so what you do with hitman games is that you try to be sneaky, you just assassinate the target, get away from there. And this is kind of how you should play with cavalry. Just assassinate your target on a battlefield and then poof, just get away. And I don't think that is a great play style. I don't believe it suits a lot of people. So I have to put these cavalry heroes into C tier. 
In the B tier, we will have Craig. Craig is amazing. He has area of effect damage. He's also very versatile. Like, he doesn't care that much about having archer troops. Unless you are using mage units with Craig, don't do that. Uh, you are going to deal a lot of damage and you will really, really enjoy Craig. And as you can see from the list, he is, in my opinion, certainly the second best epic in Call of Dragons. And the beauty about Craig is, when you start in a new server, you will get this Road to Glory event, I think it's called. And you can have a bunch of Craig sculptures. I think you can get him to 5-5 five, five something something. Don't quote me on that, I might be wrong. But in the end, you will have a lot of free sculptures for Craig at the start of the game. So you can certainly, if you pick Spring Wardens, you can certainly start with a Gwenwin and Craig pairing. And it's going to help you a lot, especially against Behemoths. You can get top ranks. I think this march is amazing, it is completely free to play, deals ton of damage and very satisfying to play with. The others in this tier is going to be Thea, Nika and Nico in my opinion, like Nika deals a lot of damage, you pair Nika with your Madeline, right, Madeline primary, Nika secondary, it is a great front row march. And Nico is just, he's so versatile, he comes from the chest, you can pair him with pretty much any archer hero in the game and it is going to be a good march right so the versatility of him is amazing and he's just a really good all-arounder so he definitely deserves tier b now tier a my boy waldir <laughs> i mean putting an epic into tier a i know i'm being a little bit biased but waldir is just amazing right every single skill of his baby version of valen but the thing is he doesn't have any useless skills all of his skills are amazing for field fighting pve or what like anything that comes to your mind other than gathering and pve of course Baldir is going to serve you well and if you start of course with league of order you will get a bunch of tokens so you will max him very very fast i mean not very fast but certainly faster than all other heroes so Baldir, in my opinion goes into a tier like amazing amazing for especially free to place next up we will have kinara in the a tier like she's just superb one of the she was the best archer hero in the game in my opinion uh, but with the release of new archers that kind of change obviously as you can see she's into a tier but still one of the best heroes especially when it comes to archers if you're an archer main with spring wardens i think she is amazing she's superb so definitely deserves A tier. And we will have Hosk. The main reason why we have Hosk here is that you can pair Hosk with pretty much any hero in the game. It's not recommended, however, it doesn't matter if it's mages, archers, infantry. When you invest in a commander that is that versatile, it opens up so many possibilities. I think that is the true value of Hosk. The options he brings on the table are just insane. Now my favorite. Why she's my favorite? I don't know. Probably the artwork. Madeline. She's hands down the best tank hero in Call of Dragons and she goes super well with Nika. Madeline primary, Nika secondary. So what happens with that march is that you're going to be super tank, you're going to soak up a lot of damage and also in return you will deal a lot of damage. So it's not like Garwood. Madeline is hands down, hands down the best tank in call of dragons you know i always had a thing for infantry even though in call of dragons playing infantry is like a disaster but still meddling goes into a i mean i could even put her into s tier but that wouldn't be fair to others others that are in the s tier valen i don't know if he needs an explanation he comes from the keys and he is the best mage in the game right now, in my opinion. Voldir is like Wish.com version of Velen. So he is just so good, so versatile. He has magic crit, magic defense reduction, area of effect. Like, he has everything that you could want from a mage hero in Call of Dragons. So easy S tier. Lilia, VIP, but she is just so good. If you are spending in Call of Dragons, even if you are a low spender, I think... A 5-1-1-1 Lilia can serve you really, really well. If you're going for, let's say, two Mage Marches, you can use Valen and Voldir or Valen and Lilia. And then you can pair Voldir with Olvin. Those four Mage Heroes, I think, will give you the best pairings. Of course, you can also include Thea, but I'm not 100% sure. Last but not least, we have the latest legendaries, Sindrion and Fregar. I probably butchered their names, but whatever. I'm gonna be honest, I haven't tried these heroes by myself, but everybody who uses them are just so impressed. 
And of course, that was expected because their skills are amazing. So surely they both goes into S tier. So this is my final Call of Dragons legendary and epic hero tier list. Let me know if there are any heroes that you disagree with the tier. I think it's a it's a pretty fair tier list, but of course, you guys always have different point of views and that's what I love about you. So let me know in the comment section if you disagree with any of the heroes. And here is a super in-depth Call of Dragons free-to-play and low spender guide. Make sure to tap on it and I see you there.